Revan, I heard you'd been expelled like Galena was. Because of you, we are only defending ourselves. We're only defending ourselves. Defending? You attacked me first. I'll arrest you all if you start a fight. Say the words we heard you threaten our sister, Glina, at the sunken flagon. Our house, house's honor is at stake, and this will only be settled with blood. Past. Well, not even any decent loot. Well, that was a little disappointing. is moving men. You have to make sure the rest of the district doesn't go up in flames as well. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? You can ask Captain Bearland to let us do our job. The City Watch can't let this go. If we do, the city belongs to them. What do you mean? The good captains have been too timid out here afraid to clamp down on the district and this is what her caution has brought us Moira strikes at us whenever she pleases and now Lieutenant Rowe has been lost to this blaze along with a number of our brothers look we're busy here right now if you're looking for new orders Marshal Cormac is over at the merchant's corner speaking with Captain Berlana who knows, maybe after this, the Marshal will finally be able to convince the good captain we need to act. Have fun. Yeah, you probably need to act. Especially if she's going around burning watch posts. Probably should have, you know, paid attention and not let it happen in the first place, but, uh, you know. I was out doing my job, stopping her from problem causing problem. I'm disappointed. I thought you'd be harder to find than this, Nishka. Leldon's been after you for some time now. If I didn't want to be found, you'd still be stumbling around in the dark, Tremel. Tell Leldon to back off, or I'll be coming for him. We've already gone through this before with other thugs. Leldon has sent Tremel. Walk away with your life, and you'll live. Leldon's not just paying me gold for this. He's also bringing me in as his partner, just as soon as I bring him your horns. You're doing this to become Leldon's partner? Trust me, I'll be doing you a favor, killing you. Last chance, Tremel. Walk away. You're acting like this is some kind of choice. You're all marked, and I intend to collect. Come on, demon girl. Let's see if you're as hard to kill as they say. Wow, such a smart person. 
enjoy the fire. There we go, that was fun. Weldon's more obsessed than I thought. I wonder how many of his goons will have to carve up before he gets wise. I think it's time we paid Leldon a visit, don't you? I guess you're right. As much as I'm enjoying tweaking his nose, <laughs> Leldon's getting out of hand. I'm not certain Leldon is the one we need to worry about. At least he makes his grievances plain. He'll be ready, though. Since he knows I'm here, he's got to know that I'll be coming for him. Yeah, I'm really not too concerned with what we do, but I prefer to do something he's not expecting. I don't plan to kill him. This'll be too much fun to ruin it by killing him. Look, Leldon's not going to give up. Trust me, he was my partner. I know him. He's got a soft spot, though. There's this coin of his that he thinks is lucky. He always has it with him on jobs. Couldn't stop playing with it. Real annoying. He's probably got it well protected, too. So I want to steal it out from under his nose. Go on. If that got you, and us, in this trouble to begin with, I fail to see how it will solve matters by stealing again. Don't you see? If I can get my hands on that coin, he might give up. After all, without it, his plans will always fail. At least he thinks so. I don't know. I don't think it's even a plan. It doesn't even make sense. I prove I'm better than he is by getting around his guards and traps. He gets worried, loses his nerves, and the attacks stop. What's not to like? I'll tell you what's not to like. Anyone willing to resort to murder over a theft isn't likely to stop because it's done to them a second time. And furthermore, it has nothing to do with why we're here in the city. Not at all. If we want to do something, we should seek out the druid lore masters in Neverwinter Wood, as I suggested. Oh, so is that your problem? That we're not doing what you want to do? Maybe you haven't thought of this, but maybe there's a reason you haven't come across any druids. Have you thought of that? Maybe they're all gone, or in hiding, or they just gave up their duties, kind of like you have by being in the city. I mean, why are you even here? Huh? Why? Calm down, Nishka. Well, why are you siding with her? Why doesn't she answer my question? I, I'm you not. are right, of course. I should not be here. But I do not know where else to go, and the only clues as to what may have happened to my circle may lie with those shards. So yes, I do not wish to be in this city. I do not wish to be a burden, but I do not know what else to do to help. All I can think of is seeking out the druids in case they know what we can do. But I will go along with whatever our leader decides. If we help you, so be it. If not, then I will stand by that decision as well. Well, all right. Maybe I wasn't explaining it well enough. But if we grab that coin from Leldon's stash, well, at least we'll have something to bargain with. He really likes that coin. All right, I'll trust you on this. I'll do it your way. Thanks, and believe me, I know what I'm doing. I've already told you I won't let anything happen to you. All right, where do we begin? The first step is to figure out where Leldon's hold up. I doubt any of my old contacts will want to talk. Looks like Leldon's got some influence in this district. Ophala would know where he is, though. She knows just about everything that goes on here and in Black Lake. Yeah, she might be able to help us. We should go talk to her. Okay, where can we find her? She owns the Moonstone Mask here in the Merchant Quarter. It used to be a place for people who, um... needed some privacy. She's cleaned it up quite a bit since the war, though. I kind of preferred it the way it was, though. But hey, <laughs> it's her business. Anyway, she knows about pretty much anything that goes on in the district. Not surprising, considering the kind of place the Moonstone Mask used to be. I'd prefer to torture the information out of Leldon's thugs. But I guess this way is easier, and not as messy. Wow. Yeah, probably not. Let's see if you use those. Cobalt, what are you doing? Customer, maybe Deacon is pleased to see. Cobalt, 
What are the night hells is a kobold doing in the streets of Neverwinter? Deacon hunt me horn, please don't kill Deacon. Deacon come here in peace to see the tree. Deacon say that so many times Deacon is tired of it. Sometimes wish people would just attack Deacon with sticks instead of ask. Deacon not going into dwarf caves, Deacon also not to blame for dwarves digging everywhere. Then tell everyone else to get out. But Deacon give dwarf many stories. He knows how dwarf get, especially women ones, without ears. tells me you're largely responsible for clearing the docks of undesirables in an uncompromising fashion. It seems your approach has only provoked Moya's gang into retaliating. Last night, they attacked the Watch directly. The cowards put one of our posts to the torch, killed Lieutenant Rowe. They attacked us for doing our duty. The Lieutenant was a good man. His post at the docks was a difficult one, but he kept the peace with an understanding that perhaps too much justice only causes more unrest. He was too soft on them. I say we get the Watch to round up every bastard at the docks until we get these killers. The Watch will act, Marshal. But more force will not root them out. We will need time and patience. We need to rebuild our presence in the docks and send the message to Moya and her cutthroats that we will not back down. To do this, we need someone with unflinching dedication to the laws of Neverwinter. And that is why I summoned you here. I would like you to take Lieutenant Rowe's place. Despite your foul approach to the situation at the docks, I think your promotion will send a strong message to the lower and upper quarters of the city. I am honored by this request, Captain, and the chance to serve Neverwinter. Very well. I think the Watch will benefit from your experience and your social graces, it seems. Marshal Cormac has told me of your interest in Black Lake. You may wish to reconsider your intention to go there. Perhaps you haven't heard of the murders there. Another nobleman has been killed. Gentry was but the first. I will permit only the most trusted of the Watch to enter Black Lake. Serve me well, and I shall grant you access, but not before. I accept. What must I do? We cannot attack Moya's gang directly. They have no base. So we must target their operations instead. Bleed them of gold and men until they have nothing left. The situation at the docks is in danger of becoming worse. What was at first opposition from Moya and her gang is threatening to become all-out war. I had thought they would not risk drawing blades against us in the streets. But through our informants, we've discovered that they are actually smuggling in a cache of weapons to do just that. They are planning for a fight. And if the reports on the number of weapons coming in are true, then the watch will quickly be outmatched. And my orders are? Stop the shipment and put an end to the smuggling for good. You are the only one we can trust for the job. Many of the watch in the docks district tend to turn a blind eye when coin is involved. And they should be rounded up as well. One problem at a time, Cormac. By the time we've dealt with the smuggling, perhaps then the costs of the Neverwinter Reconstruction will be reduced, which should allow us to pay watchmen their rightful salary. Oh, indeed. Because it is the lack of coin, not loyalty. That is the problem. Is that it? Maybe your eyes are blinded by coin too? Captain? You are the short-sighted one, and your blindness is that of a stubborn mule. This is not a black and white matter, Cormac. The docks are the only revenue source from trade we have. We cannot even patrol the roads for merchants to feel safe. So we need every watchman, even if only as a presence there. We do not need those scarecrows. Those turncloaks are boils on Neverwinter's name, and they'll give every thief in the city an open door to our throat. If we allow them to become any more blind for every gold coin, 
We might as well throw down weapons now. And what do you propose, Cormac? With the funds being diverted to reconstruction, the pittance a watchman makes is temptation for anyone to look for gold elsewhere. We must make do until reconstruction is finished, no matter what it takes. Even a show of watchmen on the street may prevent other thieves and criminals, not connected with Moira, from becoming too bold. They have their uses for now. They are bold enough, and no false show of force is going to stop them now. Silence, Cormac. Enough of this. I think we can at least agree on who should tackle this matter. Lieutenant, you have proven yourself to us, and you have done so at great personal risk, as you are no doubt marked for death by Moya and her gang. Oh, excellent. I could use the XP. Could you send him over quickly? I guess I'll just have to go find her, drag her and her thugs back here then, won't I? Excellent. Now, I cannot say it won't be dangerous, but... Stopping this operation may come with benefits. Whatever you confiscate from the smuggled goods can be used to build up the presence of the watch in the docks district. And any watchman found aiding these thugs should be dealt with. We need no division in our ranks. The smuggling operation is your assignment, Lieutenant. I want that dealt with. Once the smugglers at the docks have been brought to justice, I think we will need to fear little in the way of future bribery attempts. Although there are times when bribery can work to our advantage as well. Our informant left word that the shipment will be smuggled through the back alley in the docks. We need you to go in and stop the weapons from reaching their destination. Be careful once you're in. The back alley is infested with petty criminals and alley bashers. Now hurry, that shipment must be stopped. I think I know who the informant is. I think we're responsible for him. Looks like the volume is decent, which I know last time it had decided to spike on us, so hopefully it does not this time. And I did figure this out. Yay, sound effects are working. My Lord Nasher, I came as soon as I received your summons. Ah, Sonaval. We were just speaking of you. These men are from the Trade Guild, and I was telling them of the Watch's successes at the docks. And they were about to tell me of their renewed efforts to ensure new ships in the harbor this season, to compensate for the loss of overland travel. The season has been a lean one for Neverwinter, my lord. The citizens will be pleased to see more ships in the harbor and the cargo they bring. Quite right. Thank you for your efforts, Sir Naval. Congratulations are in order for you and the Nine. My Lord Nasher, I shall pass along your praise to the Watch. I believe much of their recent success is the result of our new recruits. So be it, Naval. After the war with Luskan and the Plague, it is good we can finally turn our attention to where it belongs. And the certain matter of back taxes owed at the harbor. Of course, my Lord Nasher. With your leave, I will return to my duties. Hmm. <laughs> you may go, Naval. After all, the Guild and I have much to discuss. Hmm... Where were we to? Hmm. Let's go over here. Temple of Tear. I believe, Kelgar, this is where you wish to speak with some individuals. Ah, just one who is injured.
Hmm, Judge Olaf. Olaf. All right. Welcome, you seeking audience. By the nine hills we do, I'm looking to sign up. You wish to join the Disciples of Tear? That's what you call those skinny twigs who threw me out the window in the Dragon's Talon, then yes? Mm, could you help Kelgar? It is odd that any of the even-handed would seek to out-battle. Like most of our faith, they usually only respond when provoked and rarely violently. Eh, well, I may have stirred things up a bit. Just a little. But that was a fight taught me some things, and I want to learn more. About our faith? No, 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 no. Fighting's only religion for me. I want to learn to fight like them, and to learn how they were able to beat me so easily. If you were defeated, such a defeat must have been just. Tyr teaches us this. Your loss was meant to reveal a truth. Truth? The truth is they beat me like a half-clan whelp, and I want to know how they did it. If you seek to learn from your loss, then you must discover why you were so easily defeated. I don't think you're hearing the words coming out of my mouth. That's why I'm here to learn. But we cannot help you. Is that so? Well, maybe I help clean the floors with you face. Will I change your mind? Wait, surely there must be some way he can learn. Tyr puts all who come to him for help on trial. He judges who is worthy and who is not. All right, sounds fair to me. Tyr wants bear fighting for him. I'm not mewling little cubs. So, is this trial? So what is this trial? Burning coals, drinking content, what? The path of Tyr is that of the maimed, the even-handed, and the just. So that are the trials. Can you tell me about the trials? The trial of the maimed requires that the petitioner face those he has wounded, usually to those of his bloodline or clan. Hmph, <laughs> never turned a blade against my clan. I haven't. If I knew where some of them were, you could even ask them. Mm, give me just a moment. Only when you understand how their actions may hurt another, inadvertently or not, can he truly understand himself. The trial of the even-handed is... that one interests me. The trial of the even-handed requires that the petitioner learn to see all around him in equal light, without the trapping of prejudice. Prejudice? I'm not prejudiced. By the nine hells, I even travel with a backstabbing tiefling, of all things. And you know how her kind are. Without such prejudices, there can be no justice, for you have passed judgment before you even know those around you. How can one be made to see? Often the best way is to learn through those one travels with. When a petitioner understands someone he travels with, then he will learn to see fairly others he meets for the first time. And what about the trial of the main? Uh, the trial of justice. To fight is not enough. To fight for a cause, that is where strength lies. When you fight for a higher purpose, something beyond the self, you will find that you gain strength through your actions 
and become impossible to defeat. Alright, I think we've heard enough of the trials for now. Thank you. Agreed. Now where do I get to meet these tests? I cannot answer that for you. Each petitioner is challenged depending on their own path. Not a moment of our choosing. All I know is that you have not faced these trials yet. They are not yet come. This is ridiculous. I've heard enough. Cast out a dwarf, will you? Who needs you? Very well. When you have faced the trials, then seek me out, Kilgar of the clan Iron Fist. Uh, do you have a moment for a few questions, potentially? Mm, I think that's all for now. Thank you. Let's see what the judge has to say. Uh, yes, I am Reverend Judge Olaf. Uskar. How can I help you? Uh, my friend here wants to join your order. Yes, you should speak with Prayer Harum. He's the one handling those who wish to join the even handed. Uh, does Tyr ha Temple have anything for sale? Hmm. We'll have to come back later and see if we want to pick up any of those. Hope you appreciated that, Kelgar. We at least have some information now. I believe this is the place we want to go. Yes, for Nishka. She's probably, yeah, she's the one. Tethel, interesting. Do you enjoy my dance, my lord? We all did. Eleni. Oh, you're a dancer too? You have the look about you. And what look is that? The disheveled hair, the scent of the leaves, twigs all about hang about you, and the way you walk. Which could use some Refinement. My walk doesn't need refinement, and I am not a dancer. I have no need to put myself on display for the eyes of others. Mm, can we get going, you two? Oh, wasn't that a variation of the Midsummer Dance? You know it. That's the first time anyone has noticed. Mostly they ignore the girl in the common room. You performed it so well that it was hard to miss. I want to go to Waterdeep to study at the conservatory. Some of the realm's best dancers were trained there. But it's a lot of coin, too much, and so I am here. Ophelia pays well enough, and I save where I can. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure with your talent you'll get there someday. You're very kind, but I hope you are right. Let me see if you got any info, but guess not. That was a little weird. Evelyn. Hmm. Let's talk to her and then no feel. Are you sure you meant to come here? You'll find more affordable in the dock district. Oh, what are you talking about? The mask is no cons commoner tavern. Our goods and services are very expensive. You obviously can't afford it. So you'll have to leave. Are you always this rude to your guests? But you're not a... 
What I mean to say is, oh, never mind. Enjoy your stay. Call me if you need anything. Be warned, if you don't see you spending coin, I'll have you thrown out. <laughs> oh, people. Alright, this is who we came to talk to. Ishka. Perhaps now was not the best time to return. Leldon is not in the best mood since your last visit. I know, I know. We already got uh, Leldon's message. I'm not surprised. He has a gang of thieves and cutthroats serving him now. He has become much more bold and much more dangerous. Nishka, you must either make amends to Leldon or pay him back what you owe him, or... Owe him? I don't owe him two copper thief. Oh, that two copper thief. Well, two coppers. If he can't guard his own share, it's his fault. Good lady, could you tell us perhaps where Leldon is? If you go to Leldon, you'll be placing your lives in danger. You're certain you wish to do this. I can't allow him to harm Yushka. If there is some peaceful way to resolve this. Yeah, what he said. Very well. You can find him his home here in the merchant quarter. I will mark it on your map. Be careful. Not only is there a state patrolled by dogs, but I think he's placed certain wards and enchantments against those with your heritage. I think he was expecting you would return, Mishka, and he is ready for you. That may be. It's... It'll be a challenge this time. Oh, that means it'll be a challenge this time. Very well. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you know what's going on in Black Lake District? I have heard a little. Only the nobleman was murdered. Little else. Uh, would you be able to get me access to the Black Lake District? No. The gates are closed to me. And many of the nobles that were caught outside cannot return to their homes. Very well, I will be going. Thank you. Okay, well. Nah. It's locked. How can I help? <laughs> can we go? Aw, key. Very well. Was there anywhere else we wanted to investigate here? Well, I mean, there's Lelton's. Let's go investigate the park on the way to Lelton's. place we cannot go. Mm, what's back here? Mm, tone chain. My guess is this will probably come in later. Uh, actually, Mishka, can you open the door? Yes. Not possible. DC 99. Meaning, no, it's scripted to be not possible. Okay. What about this one? Same. Very well. All right, well. Hmm. 
Lelton, we have a little surprise for you. Alright, are you all ready?